Disclaimer, this is an approximation of how your county convention may go. Each county is different, so you may have different experiences, but this should give you some general idea of how the convention uh, selects their delegates. And this video is a lot about strategy and how to get as many Bernie people to the state convention and then on into the national convention. But I also want to be very clear that I'm not telling people um, who to vote for. You know, you vote for who you want uh, want to. This is just strategy that you can choose or or not to. It's completely up to you. And this is a grassroots effort, and I do not work for the Sanders campaign. Uh, just want to be really clear, this is completely grassroots and uh, not, uh, well, you can probably tell by how uh, amateurish it is, but this is completely grassroots. First of all, you must be a registered Democrat in the county that you're wishing to um, attend their county convention. Next, you're going to attend your local county convention. Most of those will be held on April the 9th, and I'll put a list at the end so that you can see the date and time of yours. But you want to attend, and you want to try to go with other Bernie supporters and um, also other Democrats that are willing to support you if they're not willing to be a delegate, if they would just go vote for people that would support you. And Bernie people might want to uh, organize ahead of time or meet out front of the meeting location, maybe a half hour or 15 minutes before, to make sure that you know who each other are. And you could support each other by nominating each other and voting for each other once you are in the convention. Once you're in the convention, they will separate you into your magistrate districts. Most counties have three. There may some of the bigger counties may have more. So they will divide you up, and all the people in your in District One will be together, District Two and District Three. In this drawing, in this pretend county, we're going to assume that this county has 18 delegates that they can send to the state convention, and that will be equally divided amongst their three districts. So District One can have six two can have six, three can have six, and those have to be as closely as possible divided amongst men and women. So for this drawing, the blue is men and the red circles are women. So each district would pick three men and three women as delegates. So if they call for nominations from the floor, you can nominate yourself or you can nominate others. You can have uh, somebody else nominate you, however you want to do it. And um, in some counties, they may just have you sign up at the door to say that you're interested in being a delegate. And even if you don't have other connections and other Bernie people, you could still go, you can nominate yourself, and there's still a good chance that you could end up being a county delegate um, to then go to the state convention. But you can see the strategy of doing a little organization ahead of time so that um, each of the Bernie people know who each other is. So in our um, example, each of the districts is going to pick um, six uh, delegates to that will be county delegates. And here I've just shown an example of pulling uh, three men and three women from each of the districts. Those um, total of 18 people will now be county delegates that are, have been selected to go to the state convention. So then they will select alternates, and alternates are for people who, um, if they are not able, if the county delegates are not able to um, attend the state convention, then, then we need to have some alternates to go in their place. So um, the people who have been circled in green in the districts, there were people that perhaps were nominated that didn't make it, or maybe um, they hadn't really thought that they wanted to go, but the county really needs to send some alternates, so they'll be selected as alternates, and that's really important to make sure that as many Bernie people are alternates um, as possible. And then in the event that you're not selected as a delegate, it, definitely try to be an alternate because there's still a very good chance that you will get to go to the convention. Okay, now we have our 18 county delegates that have been selected for this imaginary county. 
And I think each county does this very differently. But I think what should happen is that they will select one person from their their delegates for each of the three state committees. It's the Rules Committee, the Credentials Committee, and the Resolutions Committee. And we want as many Bernie people on those committees as possible. So if in your convention they don't um, select uh, committee members, please raise your hand and say, hey, I would like to be a committee member, and perhaps they'll let you, and that would be great. But it, hopefully what will happen is they will take nominations. If you're willing to go and be on that committee, please raise your hand and say, I would like to go, or have a, your buddy beside you nominate you. The more the more representation that we have on these committees, the better that we can represent uh, Bernie and his message. Okay, so I've never actually been to a county convention, but I've uh, really wanted to help uh, myself understand and other people understand, so that's why I'm doing this little video, and we've had little conference calls. Um, but this is a sample county convention agenda that was sent out from the uh, Demo West Virginia Democratic Party to their um, county chairs, giving them um, an example of how they could run their their convention so it might go exactly like this it might be a little bit different again each county is different and as long as they abide by a few basic structural things I think that they can um, for the most part um, you know they, they work differently let's just say that so uh, if it's vastly different from what uh, we described and you have concerns, um, I would really encourage you to contact the chair of the Democratic Party and just share their concern, uh, share your concerns. Okay, so the pretend county that we used had 18 delegates, um, but that was a very small county. Um, this is a list of how many delegates um, each county can have, and there are some small counties like Barber County, um, if you go all the way over to where it says total delegates, they have 12 delegates. Um, and if you go down to um, Kanawha County and go over, they have 174 delegates that they'll be selecting. Okay, and the next three slides are, as best as we can tell, these are the locations and times of the county conventions. Please double check and ask um, in your county to make sure there has been some errors um, and we want you to get to the right convention. But this is as best as we can tell um, where and what time the conventions will be. Remember, all of the conventions for the most part are this Saturday, April the 9th. If you see a block of yellow that means we're questioning um, there was a question about it and then there are a couple counties that are going to have theirs either Friday night or on Sunday and I think there's one on the following Monday but just look at the yellow ones and please contact the local Democratic chair if at all possible to confirm the the date time and location um, you could find some information about the county chairs at wvdems.org. Okay, so let's um, assume that you made it to be a county delegate and you just want to have a, this is just a little overview of what to expect at the West Virginia State Convention and uh, what will happen at the, a little bit about the National Convention. Okay, so the people who have been selected to be county delegates throughout the state, um, there should be 1,526 of them, and if they can't go, then hopefully their, uh, the alternates for the county will be able to go in their place. So all of them will come to Charleston on June the 10th, and at that location and that time, they will select 20 delegates that will be state delegates that will go to the National Democratic Convention and that we'll talk about that in a minute. So West Virginia is divided into three congressional districts and each of those districts will get to have some of the be able to choose some of those state delegates. So of 22 districts will get seven delegates and one district will get six. So of all those 1526 they will select uh, 20 state delegates. And we want as many Bernie 
supporters to be in the, that 20, that number of 20, as possible. And by having Bernie supportive county delegates to be a significant part of that group, then hopefully we'll be able to send uh, at least a fair representation um, of real Bernie supporters uh, to, to that convention. So the convention itself is June 10th and 11th, but the voting will take place on June 10th. That's the most important part. And if people are on committees, the committee, um, the committees take place on June 11th, and some other things take pl place on the 11th uh, relating to the platform and speeches and things like that. But the most important day is June 10th. The other thing that we'll be able to do, hopefully, at the state convention is to influence the platform of the Democratic Party in West Virginia. And so I'm hoping that we can strongly represent um, the ideals that brought us to uh, doing all of this. Um, hopefully we could influence the party to adopt anti-corruption uh, stances, to get money out of politics. Um, addressing uh, climate change um, and other issues that, that we really care about. We want to have strong representation um, on their platform. Okay, and this form um, just shows the other delegates. Will West Virginia will actually send a total of 37 delegates. Um, the If you look in that box, the district level 20, those are the ones that we'll be selecting. Um, I think the next, uh, the unpledged eight, I think those are the super delegates. Um, the next box, um, th the pledged party and the at-large uh, uh, delegates that will go. If you go over there to the right, you'll see that those will be selected by the West Virginia State Executive Committee. Okay, so then the state delegates from all of the states will go to Philadelphia on July 25th through the 28th for the National Democratic uh, convention. And a bunch of stuff will happen there, but two really important things will happen is they will nominate a candidate for the Democratic Party. We really hope that that is uh, Bernie Sanders. And um, if it's not Bernie Sanders, we definitely want to um, represent him well and um, keep the spirit of um, what he stands for alive at that convention. Uh, the second thing that I think is really important is, uh, again, like the state uh, at the state convention they worked on the state party platform they will also be working on it's my understanding on the uh, national party platform for the democratic party so i wanted to say thank you for being willing to um, go to county convention to be a delegate and to represent uh, bernie sanders and um, you, what you stand for and what you want to have happen in politics um, it's important that we all stay involved um, that we keep fighting for what we believe in um, the political revolution is not about bernie sanders it's about us so we have to be vigilant we have to stay focused learn um, about these political processes and um, um, and work very, very hard together. We can do this if we work together. So thank you very much and keep burning on.